Hello, Barbary Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Barbary Hills. And girl, I mean, I just jumped right now to do this video, okay? Because I didn't even have time to get to my setup because I want to talk about that Real Housewives of Salt Lake City reunion, specifically one part, okay? No, I'm not going to do a whole recap. We are not going to go through the whole thing. We are going to be talking about the lies, the lies, the lies of Miss Monica Garcia, Fowler, Nikki, whatever reality von tease she is, okay? Um, welcome every single one of you. I hope that you are having a great day, bitch. I am, uh, um, I am shaking. I am physically shaking right now to all of the shit that this girl has been saying, okay? That first reunion shows what a psychopath, sociopath, narcissistic, horrible human being this girl is okay like she just changed her whole story she just like she just got caught she just got caught into so many lies okay she talks about how she was uh working for uh Jen Shaw, you know, and like, oh my god, you know, initially I didn't work for her. We were friends, we were just hanging out, I was just uh doing her 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 groceries and doing this and doing that. Like after we like kind of like start working, bitch, you never work for Jen Shaw, never work for Jen Shaw, okay. Um, Murillo actually went on, uh, uh, Bravo and Blaze podcast, okay? And he exposed Monica saying that she never actually worked for Jen Shaw. There was never a contract. There was never nothing. Do you, I mean, do you know how Monica got in contact with Jen Shaw? By stalking her and pretending to be her friend. So after stalking her, after reaching out multiple times, they start finally hanging out, okay? According to Murillo, she will just come to like, to, to lunch and to hang out, you know, and to just be there, basically. Remember that part uh, at the reunion where they say like, so you were working for uh, Jen Shaw? And she's like, no, we, I mean, I was like, not getting paid. And she's like, why, then why were you there? You know, like, didn't you have like four daughters to take care of? Like, what the fuck is going on over here? You know? And she's like, well, I had a husband and all of that lies. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's just like at this point, there are so many lies because according to Murillo, at some point during that time is when she, uh, one day called crying, destroyingly crying. Uh, Jen asking her for $2,500 to pay for her car because it was going to get repossessed. So why are you hanging out and working for free if you don't even have fucking uh, money to pay for your car? Huh? Huh? And you have four kids that probably at that time were like babies? I don't even know how she has... Uh, complete custody of the kids like it right now i'm like so mind blown by so many things sorry my, my dog is here and come on um okay so let's 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 keep talking okay so more lies of monica garcia she never worked for jen shaw she never worked she never like nothing and then if i like you know how she was saying that jen shaw was like owning her money apparently she jen never owed her money she just assumed that she that jen was going to give her money like the whole thing is just insane i am i am so but that's not what really made me upset okay that was just more lies and more lies and more lies about uh, monica garcia there is one thing okay the first one is uh let's talk about the whole uh, email that she sent to production, you know, saying like, oh, well, I told production that your show sucked and that the ratings was were horrible and that you needed a feisty, a spicy Latina, you know, like, and I will be like a stereotypical Latina. I was like, so, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with her? I'm so sorry. She deserved, I mean, 
she is a dumb bitch. I'm so sorry. There is no other way to say this, okay? You know how hard minorities had to fight in this country against those stereotypes, you know? Especially the Latino community, okay? The, everyone wants to pretend that we are, oh, so spicy, and like we are like, we like to fight, and that we are crazy, when we are not like that. And she literally tried to go out there and say like, I will be your stereotypical Latina, like hire me, and I will talk like Sofia Vergara, you know? And I, I will talk like this, and have like this very like big accent. Like, what the... Uh, the, the amount of wrong shit that she was trying to do just to get on a show. Look, I get that you want to be on reality TV. A lot of us want to be on reality TV, but there is one thing that you need to have, and that's somehow integrity, okay? Somehow the decency, a, a little bit of decency, because when you cross a line and you become a joke, there is no turning back, okay? Um... One of the things that really, I think, hurt me the most is that she claims to be Colombian, which, by the way, she is not Colombian. I don't even think that she's really Latina, okay? Uh, and I am Colombian. I, I am actually Colombian. I was born and raised in Colombia, you know, and I moved here 10 years ago. So the fact that this little bitch is trying to make the world see or believe that Colombians are like there, like that, no. Mm -mm. Fuck her. I cannot, I cannot with that little girl. Let's talk about the ratings now because I think that part is interesting. As soon as she said that, I took it upon myself to go and Google every single episode and all of the ratings for season three and season four because she said that, oh my God, like, oh, I made this show amazing. I made like, oh my God, season three was horrible. The show was going to be canceled. Well, that's so curious because according to to this season three was giving an average of around 600,000 uh, viewers per episode okay live viewers per episode it included like the season high was 700,000 viewers which was uh, episode three you know so, uh, that was season, that is season three, you know, and everything is between like 673,000, 700,000. I think the lowest, lowest is, um, I'm, I'm checking them right now. The lowest was episode seven, which was 427,000, uh, uh, live viewers, right? Now, let's go to season four. Oh, oh. Oh, what a surprise. Oh my God, what a surprise. Because the only thing that I'm seeing on season four is 400,000, 400,000, 400,000. Like the average for season four was 400,000 live viewers. Okay. The season high is literally the season finale and have 621,000 live viewers followers now this of course is going to increment after the streamings and all of the other numbers okay but she's claiming that the ratings and everything were so bad in season three no boo the ratings were way better in season three than they were in season four because you are a piece of s you are like james kennedy will say s and d and she needs to be out of this show now andy you can see it on his face he was furious at the, the things that she was saying. Now, let's talk about the supposed uh, email because she claims that she, oh, with these big wars, like this show was horrible. You need a spicy Latina. Girl, you want to know? Like the producers put the email, of course, exposing her with more of her lies because the email actually said, reaching out in regards to your casting call we will love more information on what needs to be done how to move forward you guys need a feisty excommunicated latina on the show immediately i am your girl monica fowler more lies more lies of this little girl okay Whew, child mm -mm -mm. i'm sorry i am so like I have been trying to expose this girl since, since, honestly, I think since episode two of this season, you know, 
and normally I don't like I, I I just kind of like okay I don't like you but whatever right but there was something the lies the the narcissism the the psychopathic behavior is just too much and at some point everyone is going to explode you know and what she did on this reunion today if you are a still a fan of Monica you are you know you are probably a copy of her because I cannot stand I cannot stand someone who will come here and tell me that she is a good person and that she deserved this platform after all the lies and all the bullshit and all of I think honestly is kind of like borderline racist that shit that she was trying to do on this show. And you know what? I do believe that she took Lisa uh, Barlow's ring. Okay, so give it back. Give it back. Anyways, um. I know, I know, I am upset. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Houses of Salt Lake City, well, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.